what's up guys uh, welcome to my first video on the uh, QGIS uh, tutorial series so my name is Joseph Karaoke and I'm a GIS and uh, software developer so today we are going to look at uh, QGIS which is uh, the leading uh, software a uh, desktop GIS software on open source and uh, we are going to install it in uh, QGIS uh, uh, sorry, in our Windows environment. So uh, let's jump in to downloading QGIS. We are going to download QGIS from uh, the QGIS website. So I'm just going to open my Microsoft Edge browser and uh, I'm just going to search for QGIS and uh, this will bring uh, the search results. So you can open the first link which shows welcome to QGIS project and uh, it brings us to the QGIS home page therefore the current version at the this time of this recording we have version 3.16.1 uh, uh, we also have version 3.10.12 LTR and it's also highlighted here on the icon uh, on this top left part and then uh, we're just going to click on the download button and then it opens a download uh, page. So this download page consists of uh, some information. It uh, informs us on the current QGIS version uh, and the release date. We also have the long-term uh, version. Uh, the long-term version, this simply means that it has a long-term support in terms of development and uh, maintenance, unlike uh, the, the other standalone version that uh, does not have the long-term release the LTR so we we have these uh, downloads here uh, we have the network installer which is uh, both in 64 and 32 bit so the network installer uh, gives the person who is installing or the individual who is installing the liberty to customize the installation you can add additional packages and uh, for now we are going we're just going to install using the standalone installer and uh, i'm going to use the latest uh, sorry the long-term release uh, i'm going to skip on the latest release i'm going to use a long-term release and my machine is on 64 bit so just come here and download there just click on the download link and then it downloads the starts the download for the qgis so we can show the download so depending on your network uh, network speed or latency uh, it uh, will take time depending on that on your network speed so if your network is fast then it's going to take a few just a year, under a few minutes or a couple of seconds to download so while it's uh, downloading you can have a look at the QGIS uh, website so back to the downloads page uh, if you're using mac mac os from apple you can download uh, for the mac os you can also download for the linux we have several linux distributions uh, ubuntu fedora OpenSUSE, uh, red hat centos and all that you can also download for these uh, uh, bsd and we also have a version uh, application for Q, uh, for the Windows and uh, also for the Android known as QField for QGIS yeah and then you can also download a sample data set uh, if you so if you please and uh, we also have uh, the link for users so this link gives us a uh, uh, opens uh, to us a uh, other several you know several uh, links to download uh, also you can uh, look at the documentation and you can also connect to the QGIS community QGIS have several communities uh, all over the world uh, supported uh, in in connection to the open source uh, geospatial community so we also have other items uh, whereby you can get involved you can contribute 
uh, it being an open source project you can by contributing you can uh, through contributing you can report the bugs you can participate in uh, mailing lists forums and uh, different uh, user groups so you can subscribe and uh, contribute uh, you can also help in uh, contributing to the document uh, documentation for QGIS uh, there is also a, a platform for whereby you can contribute by assisting in translations in QGIS you can also develop a plugin and uh, at, le at a later stage we are going to look at uh, QGIS plugins you can also help in developing the main libraries or the core library the core API libraries for QGIS and you can also uh, do donations uh, through uh, PayPal and uh, bank transfers. Uh, here's a page for the donations, and also Stripe. Yes, and uh, yeah, that's it for the QGIS. Okay, once uh, the download has uh, completed, so we're just going to click on this link for the uh, QGIS uh, setup. And it's going to start uh, to prompt an installation a wizard. So this is a QGIS installation wizard. So this is uh, the welcome uh, page for the wizard. And then we have to agree to the license uh, terms. Uh, it's uh, highly recommended that you read the license uh, before you agree to it. And then you are going. it's going to show us the installation uh, path. And uh, we have the also we have been given the liberty to download the data, but we are not going to download the data. So I'm just going to click on install. Yeah, so it will uh, initiate, uh, initialize uh, an installation uh, progress. So as you can see, it is uh, doing the installation. And depending on your computer speed and computer pro uh, the processing uh, processor speed uh, then it uh, determines the speed of uh, your installation so the better the or the higher the processor then the faster the installation and the and vice versa So the installation is going to take a few minutes. And I will jump to the end of the installation. Download is almost complete. So uh, I assume it's creating some uh, folders um, and paths. And we are also going to see a folder on our desktop in a few seconds or a few minutes. And uh, it's also going to prompt us that the installation has uh, completed. So in the event that there is an error, it's also going to show you uh, on the on this uh, wizard. It's going to prompt you that there is an error. In our case, we have not encountered any errors so far. So let's give it a few seconds and see how the installation uh, is going to as it's completing. It has uh, completed and so we have the uh, last page which uh, informs us that uh, the QGIS has completed installing successfully. So I'm just going to click the finish button and then I'm going to open the folder QGIS on our desktop and uh, just going to open the QGIS desktop uh, shortcut. So we have all these other shortcuts. We have the Qt designer that is uh, used to design uh, widgets and user interfaces. And uh, we also later on might have a session on uh, creating some widgets here and there using the Qt. And then we have the QGIS desktop. This one is uh, contains the grass uh, software that is uh, used for analysis and um, other things as well and we also have these OS4 GW shell that is used to uh, do some command lines um, in uh, 
while doing some uh, stuff you can use the command line instead of the user interface so we have this window welcome to QGIS 1.0 1.2 where Karuna so we can just click on the let's get started so it's going to start uh, show our the splash screen and uh, you can see below here there's a message saying set up setting up the graphical user interface the GUI so it's uh, going to take some few seconds then it's starting the Python so QGIS has been developed with Python and uh, C++ it's loading the plugins and uh, voila so this is our user interface for QGIS so uh, the next video we are going to look at uh, different items in the QGIS uh, user interface so stay tuned and uh, hit like and subscribe and you can also check out my blog at uh, josephkarioki.com thank you